Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another gift guide. Today's gift guide is for the baby in your life, the baby slash toddler. I have a 16 month old. What the heck happened? Like, wow, time really does fly. But anyway, I have a 16 month old and he is a very toy oriented baby. We've tried a lot of toys. We know what we like. I feel like passionate about some of these toys and books. So I wanted to put together a baby gift guide. Now this gift guide is specifically if you are gifting to the baby itself. I have a whole video on um, like my favorite baby items. That's maybe more for a baby shower or gifting to a new mom or something like that. I can link that up in the corner. This is like for the baby. And I do say this proudly, this entire baby gift guide is battery free. Nothing takes batteries, nothing lights up. Some things make noise, but if the baby makes them make noise, but it's nothing like battery powered or anything like that. We are a Montessori style house. Well, that's, uh, we try to be. Milo definitely has toys that light up and he loves a few of them, but he, I really get the most like independent play out of some of these toys and he loves them. So I thought, Let's do a gift guide. So I'll shut up and we'll get into the recommendations. And of course, everything will be linked down below if you just wanna quickly shop. They are affiliate links, so thank you very much. If you do shop through me, it helps my family out a little bit, which I really appreciate. But otherwise I have a list on my phone. I have most of it here to show you, but of course I forgot some of it in his room or it's just too big to show and he's sleeping, so I can't get it out of his room right now. So this is not sponsored by Love Every, but I'm gonna talk about Love Every a lot. I love Love every so much. You guys know that if you watch my channel, we were gifted the playmat, which would also make a great gift if you are gifting to a very tiny baby. We were gifted the playmat for our shower and I loved it so much. Miraculously, I love every ended up reaching out, offering to send us the play kits, which I am so thankful for because they are truly like life changing if you have a baby. It's basically a subscription. In the first year of your baby's life, it's every couple of months. And then after that, I think it's every three months. And then I, I think eventually it's just annually, but they send toys made specifically for your child's like age and development and what they might be learning currently. And so it is, it number one, the toys are great, great quality. They're Montessori style toys. So they're not light up battery or anything like that. They encourage imagination and independent play, but they're really well made and it's, it is very, very cool. One of my favorite things of Love Every, like from my perspective, is watching him figure these things out. There might be something in the box that's a little more advanced, in which in that case, I would hold back until he could do something like that, or I might just give it to him and watch him try to figure it out. And there's been so many things that he's figured out like right in front of my eyes, and it is so, so cool, and he loves them. Honestly, the 12, well, I'm, I'm not exactly sure. I'll, I'll put the name of the kit right here, but whatever the kit is for, for, uh, a one-year-old like 12 months it was the greatest kit ever <laughs> it has our very favorite toy from love every is this tall ball drop thing and it swirls down into this little box and then there's four different ways that they can get the balls out Milo is obsessed. Anything that can fit down that hole and go down into the thing, he will put. <laughs> that toy alone is worth the entire price of the monthly kit. If I'm not mistaken, I do believe you can gift just one month, I think, or buy just one month. And if you do, I highly recommend the one year one. <laughs> I also brought this up to show it comes in the one year box, um, but it's just like this little purse almost, and then you get these little bunnies. It's just the cutest thing. All of the toys are so cute. I look forward to getting them and opening up and seeing what's inside. And Milo loves to just put the bunnies back in the burrow. He loves it. So it's just fun toys like that. But if you're not into the price of the kits, the great news is, is that Love Every has a line at Target. Everything is so affordable and what we've tried, we've loved. My very favorite one is the rainbow stacking situation. It is obviously just great to play with, but it's so cute as shelf decor. I have it up on the shelf. We pull it down when we want to play with it, but that's one of my faves. He loves these felt nesting baskets. He loves nesting things and like putting things inside of things. You'll see that. These are fun. Um, you could put like a ball in there too. But yeah, he loves these so much and I also love how fun and colorful they are. Speaking of the stacking, these are actually from one of the kits, but they have a whole box of them at Target. But they're these just stackable cups. They can be stacked like this. They can also be stacked like this. 
They also have holes in them in different places so that you can use them in the bathtub. The stacking cups are, are legit. We use these in so many different ways. This is also a great toy for traveling. I just brought, I brought this with us every time we travel somewhere, whether it be in the car, or we just went to Chicago and I brought this because just anything that like folds together nicely and keeps together and you can put it away for the day. I love for travel and for every day. That's the other thing. I wouldn't recommend gifting something that comes with a bunch of tiny parts or pieces, but if I am suggesting something that has multiple pieces, they kind of all fold together nicely. So it's not taking up a bunch of room in your house or just making clutter and a mess. But he loves these again. I love the colors of them. He loves anything that you can put rings on. We of course have like, um, which I can link that down below too. It's just, I think it's Fisher Price. It's just like the white pole with the rainbow colored stacking rings. He loves it. I feel like every baby has that, but this is just a different thing on that. It's a wobble one, which is fun. Um, and it's just a little more high quality made out of like wood. And again, I love the colors would make great shelf decor, but that is super cute. I'm actually getting my niece a lot of the love every stuff for Christmas because she comes over here and she loves it. And I'm like, baby, you need it. There's a great puzzle. It's a little more advanced because it's not just circles. It's like all different shapes, but the babies still love to play with it. And eventually they'll figure it out. There's like the hide and drop box, which again, Milo loves any sort of toy where you can drop something into it. It's kind of similar to like the tall spinny thing, but it's just like a little box. Again, great for travel. And then there's a little door he can reach in and get the ball. These are kind of older. They're for 19 months and I'm going to give it to him for Christmas anyway. This is called Chloe and her car. He loves cars all of a sudden. So I'm excited to give this to him. But it's again, it's practicing putting a puzzle piece in the thing and then he can go vroom vroom with the car, which he actually makes the noise. It's super cute. And then this is also for 19 months or for a toddler. It's like a peg set of people. So you can match the colors, put the people in the little pegs. He will love this. So, so those are going to be under the tree for him. I was, I can still do maybe if we can get our shiz together, what I got Milo for Christmas, what we're planning to get. I was gonna just include it in this video, but I wasn't quite ready. Like, <laughs> I still have some things to sort out, but he's definitely gonna get those. And the, a couple other things I mentioned, he will be getting for Christmas as well that I think will make good gifts. But yeah, I'll have all the Love Every Toys linked down there. And I do have a affiliate link with them for their play kits. So again, thank you if you use my affiliate link, that helps us out a lot. But affiliate link or not, it is truly the best. Our favorite toys, if they ever come out with more Target toys, I will run to get them. They are the best. Target has a line. I don't know what it's called and this isn't labeled. This is quite messy. Hold on. Let me... They have a line and some of the toys do require like batteries and they make noise, but a lot of them are Montessori style. I don't know if this counts as Montessori style. I'm not even quite sure what Montessori style means. It just means basically there's no lights, there's no sound. It just encourages imagination use. This definitely makes sound, but it's because of if the baby pushes. It's basically, I couldn't resist this little caterpillar's face. I don't even know if it's caterpillar, I'm just assuming, but you push it. This might wake him up. <laughs> and the balls go flying. It's also a great game for adults when the balls don't land in their spots. You can do it yourself. I do it all the time. I feel like it's very soothing for anxiety, but I love this thing. We gave it to him for his first birthday and he loves it. And I think it was like 20 bucks. So it's a pretty good deal. Again, it would be cute on like a little play shelf. And he just loves this thing. I can't believe I didn't start with this. This is probably my number one gift guide toy suggestion. It is these Tommy Tippy eggs. I've talked about these several times before. The Easter Bunny brought these to him, but you can also get them on Amazon. <laughs> Again, it does have a lot of pieces, but I like that it all folds up in here. I also had these when I was a kid, so they're very nostalgic to me, but they're these little hide and peep eggs. So they all have tops. They all have different shapes on the bottom. So they, you know, sit in their respectable little cubbies. They squeak. And what I like about this toy is that it's going to grow with him. So for now, he, well, he's just learned how to put the tops on. He's very good at that. It used to just be, he would take the tops off, throw it all over the room, squeak the eggs, throw them all over the room. Now he's learning to put the tops back on the eggs. He still hasn't quite figured out like the shapes in the bottom or color matching, but he'll grow with that, which I think is super cool. Very affordable toy. Love that, again, it all shuts up into this little case. No batteries required. It just is the best. I get literally like 10 solid minutes of independent play with just these every single day when I pull them out for him. He loves them. Probably his favorite toy too. But yeah, if I I was just going to suggest one thing. It might be these eggs. We call them the eggies. M Milo says eggies all the time. <laughs> 
So we love these. This is a newer toy that I actually bought for the plane for Chicago. I can link that vlog up in the corner. But we recently took our first flight with our baby. I read several things about having fresh toys that they haven't played with just because, you know, when you hand them a new toy, you do get like an extra five to 10 minutes of independent play because they're so excited because it's new. So I had a couple of new toys and some new books. And this was one of the new toys. It is silicone nesting dolls. So again, my son loves to put things in things. So it's this bear. He's made out of silicone. Super cute. And then you just rip him open. Oh, I ripped the whole thing open. Whoopsie. He's got four parts basically. And then you end with this little gray bear. So Milo just loves to put it inside each other. And I, again, this toy will grow with him and he will understand it more. But he is loving this thing and I just think it's so cute and it's also available on Amazon. I do have an Amazon storefront. Whatever toys are available on Amazon, I will have in that, but I'll also have them linked in the description of this video. But my Amazon storefront, I finally got it together. I finally did my Amazon faves video. I will link that up in the corner. But now that the Amazon storefront is done, that will always be linked in my description in case you're curious. This is something my niece actually had and Milo, anytime we went over to my brother's house, loved it. So they got it for him for his birthday. It's these little Einstein Steins, again, just like a stackable thing. He loves to stack things. He loves the colors. It's similar to the stacking rings, but they just stack within themselves, which is cool. Again, it's small. It's like, I don't know if it's silicone, but it's like nice and rubbery. So if they want to chew on it and he still loves this thing. So I thought that would be like a good stocking stuffer. I feel like it's just like a level up from the normal stacking rings. Something that I've ordered for him for Christmas off Amazon because it was on sale, but it's not here yet. Are them? It's like a Melissa and Doug, I think, which they have a lot of good Montessori style toys, but a lot of them are for like older kids. So I can't wait. Like they have this whole ice cream shop that I literally can't wait to play with. <laughs> but they had this like bowling set. It was these super cute animals that just stand up and you roll the bowling ball. Milo loves to roll things. I told Bradley we need to get him like a soccer ball or something because anything that he can roll and just watch roll across the house he loves. So I just thought this would be super cute, especially like if Santa leaves it under the tree, like all set up and ready to go. I think that would be super cute. But again, just fun colors and it just, it looks like he's going to love it. So I'll report back if he likes it. But Santa is bringing that to Milo this year. Something else that I... I don't think I've ordered yet. I have it in my cart or fridge magnets. I, I saw it on somebody else's Instagram or something and it didn't occur to me to get like the fridge magnets. He can't spell anything yet, but he will so totally love like pulling them off and putting them back on. From Love Every in this latest box, um, the 15, 16, 17 month, there was this felt thing. It's basically like a felt canister and inside there's little like bu Velcro bugs that stick to it. So he loves to put things on and take them off. And so I think that fridge magnets will be great. And eventually he can, as he's learning to spell and all that, we can play with them that way. But I thought that would be a good stocking stuffer as well. I didn't bring them up here. We have a ton of them. They're, I think they're Infantino, infant, infant something. You can get them at Target. I've even found them at Home Goods, but they just make really good, durable, blocks. It's not helpful now, but there was a great set from Easter from that brand where it came with a couple of blocks. It came with a little bunny and like a duck dressed up as a sheep and then some fake Easter eggs. I guess that's more so for like six month olds, but the blocks we still use. He loves to build with blocks. And I, I can only see that continuing as he like really learns how to set up a tower and then knock it down. You know, mostly it's me setting up the tower, him knocking it down and then trying to figure it out. Or I build most of the tower, hand him some and he can try to put it on the top. So He's still learning, but I just think blocks in general are great and that brand, I'll link something. It, most of it is from Target. You can get them at Target, so I will link it down below. And then if your child is into stuffed animals, we really like the Jelly Cat stuffed animals. They are a little more expensive, especially like the bigger ones. These aren't so bad. Like this was 12 bucks. Um, but first of all, how freaking cute is this? This was on my registry. My best friend Chassie got it for me. It lives on a shelf because we love it so much. But I found this bat for him for Halloween for super cheap. The Easter Bunny brought him like a little yellow bunny. Um, the very first thing I bought him, we were checking out of the hospital and there was a little gift shop and I went in and I bought him this cute little bee and he loved Loved it when he was a newborn. I could cry. I literally could cry. I need to get it together. <laughs> but that's Jelly Cat. They're just really, really soft and like nice stuffed animals. We're just now coming into caring about stuffed animals. I really hope that he like loves stuffed animals and like wants to sleep with one at night. So far, we're not like that. But um, he has like a rainbow Mickey that I bought. He was first pregnant at Downtown Disney and he loves that. So we're, we're just coming around to stuffed animals. But if your child is into stuffed animals or you want to get a baby like a cute little present, these are super cute. They have them for like seasonal things. Things. They have all sorts of vegetables, all sorts of animals. They're super duper cute. They have their own website. You can get some on 
Amazon. I think this one I got from Nordstrom or I registered on it on Nordstrom for it. Um, so they're kind of everywhere, but if I can find these or anything, I will link them down below. That is it for toys. I do have a lot of books to recommend. So first up are the Babies Love Flift a Flap books. I think I got it at my baby shower. Somebody gave him the Babies Love Halloween book and he was obsessed with it. Once for a while, he didn't give a crap about books, but then he became obsessed with them. I truly read every single book we have to him at least 10 times a day. It's it's a lot for me, <laughs> but I'm happy to encourage the love of books and he loves it. So he was obsessed with the Babies Love Halloween book. We've since put that away just with the Halloween stuff, but they have a ton of them. So we currently have the Babies Love numbers and the Babies Love colors, and he has learned to pull down the flaps himself. He loves it. We do this literally 40 times a day. Um, they have a Babies Love Christmas that I just just ordered. I will link that one down below. They have them for all occasions. Babies love Halloween, babies love what, whatever you can think of, they have it, but he loves it. I'm trying not to buy all of them because I know he'll eventually get over it, but some of them are better than others. I was looking at this one I bought for the airplane for Chicago. This is the numbers one. It's very cute. And again, he's learned how to open them all and he takes his time doing it. And again, I'll catch him reading these by himself. He'll be like, shouting his babbling and like turning the pages. It's very cute. I actually found the colors one at TJ Maxx. So always check there, but these are great books for young babies even moving into like Milo's almost a year and a half. So, oh my God. This is my niece's favorite book. And so they gave it to Milo for his birthday and he thinks it's the funniest thing. It's very simple. It's called Pika Who and <laughs> it just is like Pika, Moo, Pika, Boo! And so you get it. And so I usually scream at the top of my lungs and he thinks it's the funniest thing. But this was like the first book that got him to laugh out loud and he loves it. So would highly recommend Pika Who. <laughs> my mom actually gave him this last year and I think it's such a great gift idea. Figure out the horoscope sign of the baby you're gifting to. So Milo is a Leo and it, it's just the cutest little book that kind of tells you about what your horoscope type is like. Really cute colors and drawings and stuff. My niece is a Libra and I wanna read hers cause I know that my mom got her one too, but I'm also a Libra so I'm interested to see what it says. But I just thought that was a great gift idea. Also cute for a shelf. Milo loves it. It even kind of looks like Milo with his blonde hair. But yeah, I just, I thought that was a cute, unique gift idea that's a little bit more personalized. And then a book that Bradley specifically loves, and I love it too, don't get me wrong. Um, and Milo is just now, he goes through phases with books. His very favorite book is a book about Michael Jordan. I know everything there is to know about Michael Jordan now thanks to that book that I read 40 times a day. He also of course loves the, cl the classics like The Hungry Caterpillar and Good Night Moon and things like that. I was just trying to give you other suggestions that you may not have heard of, but this one is called Edible Colors. They also have edible numbers that is in my Amazon cart. I'm just like, I add things to my save for later then I wait to see if they go on sale, but I would like to get that for him for Christmas. Christmas probably, um, but it just is like carrots are orange. They're also purple. Look what else can be purple. And it's like teaching you about different produce. It's just fun and colorful. As a gardener, an aspiring gardener, I would, I don't know if I'd call myself a gardener. I'm not that good at it. <laughs> As an aspiring gardener, I really enjoy looking at it because who knew the corn could be purple or red? You know, it's, it's fun to look at. This one I don't get tired of reading to him because there's things to learn, but it's also just super cute and colorful, like I said and he likes looking at it too, so. I love that one. So that is it for toys and books. I also personally like to, I love to gift my niece clothes. I know it helps the parents out, helps build up their wardrobe a little bit. It also just for me, I get so excited whenever I see her wearing something I gave her. I guess that's like egotistical of me, but I love it. <laughs> but in case you wanted to pair like a cute little wintry outfit with a toy, I just wanted to mention some of my favorites. I talk all the time about how my two favorites, very favorite is Old Navy. And then I also love Carter's. If you play your cards right, you can get great deals from both. I also love the Cat and Jack line from Target, which this first one is from. I bought Milo this. It's this super cute little two-piece set. And like I said, these are wintry. I have a bunch of like Christmas specific clothes, but if you're giving it to them on Christmas or like near Christmas, they might not want to wear that anymore. But just wintry for the rest of January. This is such a cute little sweat outfit. I love the blue. Has a little polar bear type thing wearing a snow cap and it's just so cute and so soft on the inside. We love Cat and Jack. The entire set was like 12 bucks from Target. Old Navy has these great bodysuits for only $5. And this one, it is Christmassy, but it's nothing like Christmas specific. It's just wintry. It's got snowflakes and moons on it and some polka dots and it's bright red, super cute. And then this four pack from Carter's, I was so excited about. This one has um, little animals like skiing. You get this fun, almost like plaid 
Christmassy print. You get some green stripes, which I love. And then my very favorite were these wintry penguins. Some of them are wearing scarves. Some of them are hugging. They're just so cute. So in case you wanted to pair like a toy book and an outfit, I just wanted to give you some favorite winter ones. But again, can't really go wrong with anything from Old Navy. I recently, it was like a fall slash winter clothing haul, just like a warmer clothes clothing haul. I will link that up in the corner. It's all gender neutral baby clothes. So if you are into that, you can check that out. But okay guys, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it a little bit helpful. I Before I had babies in my life, I wouldn't have known what the hell to get a baby. So I do hope that you this helped at all. Like I said, everything will be linked down below. If you have any other suggestions, leave them in the comments. Let's make it a whole big thing. I have some other gift guides I will link one up in the corner, you can check it out. If you would like to subscribe, I'll have my face somewhere you can click and subscribe as well. Some videos that I've recently uploaded that you may enjoy or you may have missed. I would love it if you guys gave this video a thumbs up to let me know if you liked it and it really helps out my channel. But yeah, otherwise I'm gonna go. I hope you guys have a great day. I love you oh so much and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye. Happy baby shopping. Okay, that was cringe. See ya. <laughs>